What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Toot Engines, not today's episode. I'm gonna go and show you how we were able to do this to the little doom buggy. Give me a sec. <laughs> Alright guys, well first I want to say Happy New Year, hopefully you all had a good time with your family and popped lots of fireworks. As you see right now, Toon Dinges got a huge upgrade, we got a shop now, but I'm going to be showing you a future video how we did all that, because I still got to do a little bunch of stuff to it. So basically on this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we were able to do this to the little, little buggy. And also guys, another thing is that we finally have keys for the deal, but you can see it right here, keys, it's officially a car. But yeah, guys, so basically, I'm, let's get into the video so I can go ahead and show you how we made this possible. All right, and also, guys, don't forget to check all the merch link down below and check it out so you want to get one yourself. But before I see what this kit comes with, so it comes with the flywheel, first of all, it comes with the starter, it comes with the box for the key, it comes with the charging coil, it comes with the keys, obviously, then the, all the hardware to mount it, and these are all the stuff we're going to need for the kit today. Another thing is that, like, this uh, starter thing has, like, a run and start position, so it's like a normal cart. Alright guys, and we're gonna have to go ahead and take off three steel bolts so we can go ahead and take off the cover. Now with all this connected, we can go ahead and take off the kill switch and go ahead and take off the cover and the fan so we can go ahead and access the flywheel. Alright guys, so the next step is we're going to go ahead and take off this old flywheel and the reason is because the new one has like these magnets inside which uh, charge the charging coil and give electricity. This is the uh, new one we're going to be putting on and we're going to go ahead and put this nut back on so we can go ahead and hit the nut and not the thirds and take off the old flywheel. Now we're gonna go ahead and put what makes it possible to start with the key, the starter. So we're gonna go ahead and mount it with two bolts and then it should be secure in place. And now with all that done, we can start putting the engine back together. So we're gonna go ahead and put the new flywheel on and after we're gonna go ahead and put the fan and also the hardware to hold it in place. And not just like that, we're one step closer to starting the engine with the key. Alright guys, now we're going to go ahead and put the coil back on, but in case you're doing this to your go-kart predator engine, make sure to leave a 0 0.020 to 0 0.025 gap, or else like your car might have advanced timing, or else it won't be a sparking correctly, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. Alright guys, so actually it's been a while since like the last clip, um, I've been trying to like uh, figure out the wiring, because like the wiring... The, the kit did not come with the diagram and anything so as you can see it's kind of a mess but I think I got it figured out so we're gonna go ahead and test it right now for the first time technically it should like it technically it should spin the starter if I could spin it oh! alright let's try this out guys Oh cool! Alright guys, alright guys, as you saw we got wired up! Oh shoot! It kinda scared me for a sec there! Alright guys, so I actually went ahead and put some bigger wires on for my starter and also went ahead and fixed the ground. And the reason I was getting confused is because um the ground was hidden inside here, so I went ahead and took it off and I'm actually gonna go ahead and connect it properly. But yeah, let's go ahead and turn it on one more time and see how it works. Alright guys, and just from a flick of the key, it should start. <laughs> Hi 
guys, and we also we go ahead and measure this. It's gonna be uh, giving us uh, like 12 to 9 volts. We're gonna do that really quick. As you see, we're getting voltage to me too. Alright. Alright, guys, and this is how we turn it off. And now it's off, guys. But yeah, so cool. So that means we got every, all the wires correctly. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up and i'm not sure if you sound like in the video but you can see that this spins a lot all crooked and that's because like it doesn't sit flush since like this is a different um flywheel so i'm probably gonna take off the the nut and uh shim this down a little bit sand it down a little bit from the back so it can be a perfect fit oh, and also guys if you haven't noticed we're like in a new garage but i'm gonna do another video on that but yeah so uh new year new shop Right now, because I'm gonna go ahead and install the fan back on, so in case my battery ever dies, I can still start the engine. I'm also gonna start getting it ready to mount the starter, or basically the bracket that makes it turn on. Alright guys, so now we're gonna see which wires actually do need and which ones we're gonna be replacing. But for right now, I'm actually just gonna leave all of this right here. I'll fix that later and I'm gonna go ahead and install the new uh, thing for right here. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it so it doesn't get rusted. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and expand all the wires, make them longer. Since I'm gonna be putting this in the front of the doom buggy, it won't reach the way it is. So I'm just gonna make it to where it allows me to put it wherever I want in the doom buggy so that's gonna be doing right now to all the wires Alright guys, so now I went ahead and like I finished the basically the wiring extension so now we have it all ready. I actually put a little bit more just in case you have to move this in the future. But yeah, so now we can go ahead and connect this, install it wherever we want it. And then we can go ahead and put the engine on and see if it works like that again. But yeah guys, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start putting this. I'm probably gonna put zip ties on it just to hold it for right now until I find like a, a better position for it. But we're gonna put zip ties on it for a little bit because zip ties they always work when you're holding stuff. Then um, connect it to still time and make sure it works. So like whenever we put in the transmission, we have everything ready to go. So let's go ahead and start doing that. All right, guys. Another thing is I'm gonna go ahead and run all my wires to like this right here. Um, every hazard, so I might as well use them. I'm probably gonna see if I can clean it up though, cause um it touches the pedals a little bit, and I don't want that. So we're gonna, we're gonna just put them right there for right now. And then run that big wire uh, a different way. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Alright guys, so now that with all that complete, now we can go ahead and put the engine back on and uh, turn it on with the key, or at least try to, and also put the battery on. I'm going to be using a big battery right now, because that's all I have, but I'm actually going to go ahead and buy a small battery, a motorcycle battery, so we can go ahead and connect it on this one. But yeah, so let's go ahead and mount this engine and get connected. Alright 
Alright guys, now we're going to be making the power wire and the ground wire. Unfortunately, I only have one of these, so we're going to use this for the power. Then I'm going to go ahead and Frankenstein it a little bit. Then I'm going to go get a new one. I'm going to go get a new one later on. So let's just go ahead and do this one because the power one's more important. Alright guys, so now we got the power ready. And we can go ahead and connect this to the um, terminal at the starter. Guys, you also want to hit and did our, our ground wire right here. So we can go ahead and connect this and this to the engine now. So the power wire, we're gonna go ahead and connect it right here as well. All right guys, so we're done connecting everything. So we got the little switch up there, the control panel. We got all the wiring connected as well. I'll fix it up like once we actually like install the transmission. Um, this is the big barrier I was talking about that we're gonna be using just to test it right now. But yeah guys, so technically we should be able to crank it over right now and see how it works and all that. And also it should be building electricity. So yeah. Alright guys, now I have everything connected. We can go ahead and start the doom buggy to make sure everything's working. So let's see. Oh, Alright guys, so as you saw, we were able to get the start ignition on and we were also able to make uh, 12 volts of uh, power on it. But as you saw guys, it came out freaking cool. So if you want to do this to your doom buggy little predator engine, you can go ahead and do it. Just follow these steps. It's simple. I think the hardest thing was probably just taking off the flywheel, but it was pretty simple. But yeah guys, the next time we're going to go ahead and see if we can find the transmission on the doom buggy. Then after that like. But yeah guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see you all next time. And also a future video on this shop. And don't forget to check out all the merch down below. See you next time.